my name is Artem Amirov. I'm the owner of uh, Royal Gloss Restoration Studio here in Russia and I'm the head restoration artist there. Today I'm going to walk you through how we restored this 42,000 Celine crocodile bag. It was made around eight years ago and uh, they were producing it for one year only. This makes it really rare. There was a huge uh, amount of problems on it. There was uh, scuffs and scratches all over the bag. The lining inside the bag was completely messed up. The bag was missing the puller for the zipper. We start with uh, removing the edge paint. All the edges of the bag have scuffs and scratches. We use the grinder to sand it down. We begin with uh, disassembling the bag. The inner lining had a lot of scratches from active use as well it had some dirt stains. To clean and fix it, the inner lining we had to pull apart all the bag. The tools that we used were a seam ripper and a cobbler knife. The seam ripper is more preferred for delicate parts of the back. We carefully slide under the stitch and pull the stitch upward to get it out. The original lining for Celine crocodile back is made of sheepskin. We also use sheepskin with the same quality, with the same color and the same softness. After we carefully took off all the sheepskin linings from each side of the back, we replaced them with the new ones. To cut the new lining out, we use a rotary cutter. The glue that we use is the same that the manufacturer used. It has a very strong bonding. In order to make a new zipper for a bag, we use the new zipper. We use new leather. We choose a pattern to match the original scales and we paint it the same color as the bag. In order to clean the handbag, we use a special leather shampoo and a semi-soft brush. When we talk about cleaning the crocodile skin, it is difficult because you can damage the patina. Even with a mild cleaner, you can just wipe it out. One of the biggest concerns is the scales which cracked on the handle. If it's not prevented in time, later it will be very difficult to repair them. It's also had greasy stains on it, so in order to remove the stains and for a paint to penetrate through the handle and to have a bond with the surface, we need to use acetone to remove the greasy stains. Applying an edge paint coat is essential part to keep all the edges sealed and prevent the bag from further moisture penetration. To apply the edge paint we use a special roller pen. It grabs a certain amount of edge paint and allows to allocate it to the edges. In order to color match I'm testing colors on separate crocodile leather skin. I am trying to mimic the fading that goes from the center to the edges, from blue to dark blue and then to the black. It gives the back a very unique look. In order to apply the paint I am using airbrush and small spray gun. Working with them allows me to accurately distribute paint all over the surface. We use water-based paints, which will cover up all the defects. These kinds of paints have a great adhesion properties.
we had two types of sewing machines to get the same all stitch holes. We regulate the length between the holes. One of the sewing machines was uh, primarily used to sew the thickest part of the letter. We had to be careful with uh, assembling the back, back together, because while assembling all the sides of the back, we had to consider the thickness of the leather layers, so they won't move during the sewing process. For some parts we did a hand sewing to avoid damaging the crocodile leather.